Hello friends, please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notified for new videos. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to learn how we can implement the logic of these calculations percentage, square root, 2 is the power of x and 1 by x. So how uh, this percentage button will work like I have this 100 and I want to add some percentage into this number so like I am pressing plus so I want to add some percentage to this 100 like I want to add 20 so I am just going to click on percentage and it will add that 20% of 100 and it will come to 120 let's do some other calculations like uh, for 200 I want to minus 10% uh, from this and let's see yes we have 180 so let's implement this so for this I'm going to click on this uh, where it is again yeah so here it is here we need to implement the logic so first thing first we will validate both the labels and text box that we should have numbers in both text box and label because percentage will work only when we have the numbers in text box and label so I'm just going to implement that so if the label dot get text dot plan greater than zero and j text field dot get text dot length sorry text dot length greater than zero so now our code will work now whenever we click on the percentage button the text value we need to save in a variable so we already have a variable to be calculated value what is happening we are here equals to j text dot get text here and we need to convert it to double so double dot parse and here it is okay i need one more like this now we will create another function to get the percentage so for that uh, outside of this method i am creating that so it would be private void percentage and I am giving two arguments double A and double B. Now here we will have the switch because on every sign like minus plus multiply we need to do the calculations. So switch sign like this and if case like add then we will call the add function and here we put the percentage calculation so it will be a into and divided by sorry divided by 100 so this is a value like this and then we will pass the B now we need to pass these parameters in, in all the methods so break Okay, so I'll copy it and it will be 
minus so subtract then we have multiply like this and then we will have the divide let me remove this and I'm going to call divide yeah, like this so this is our the percentage method so I'm going to copy this pasting it here now need to pass the parameters so it will be double Pass a label dot get text. So in this get text, we will get the plus sign also. So we need to split it out. Uh, so I'm going to use split, and I'm splitting from space and using the index zero like this and pass the another parameter which is to be calculated so the error is removed so alt shift f yeah like this now i am going to save it so now i am going to run this and now i am going to have 100 plus and I want to add 10% of 100 and clicking on percentage okay so we are getting 20 so let's see what we have in our calculations okay so here I have done a mistake so here I need to have A not B so I'm going to update in all the which cases so uh, like this yes so let's run this again so I will have 100 plus 10 percent yes we got the right calculation because I wanted to add 10 percent of 100 so let's uh, multiply 10 percent yes calculation is correct so our percentage button is working fine now let's work with square root I'm closing it go to design so here we will implement our square root code so first of all I'm going to create a method so it will be private void square root sqr and then root maybe like this and then I'm going to give a argument double a like this then a text field dot set text and it will be as double dot two string sorry two string yes and we will use the square root function of math class rt and we will pass the a and now we will call this method to the square root button so here sqr root button and we need to pass a double value so we will have to be calculated value equals to double sorry double dot Pass to double and we will have the text dot dot get text yes like this and we will pass this to square root but okay so square root not this one okay like this so I'm running it again at these so 25 okay so 25 
and what is the square root of 25 is 5 yes and what about 9 let's see yes we have 3 so square root button is also working fine closing it now we will work for 2 is 2 power of x so click on it create that function here so in this function also we need to give if condition when get text dot get text and that length to be greater than zero then to be calculated value as variable sorry variable dot parse bubble and we will have get text dot get text like this now we will have another method as square root sorry uh, as square so private void square and we will pass the argument as double a so here we will have j text field dot set text dot double dot to string and we will have a into and equals to a yes now we will call this square here and we will pass this to be calculated value yes now let's run this and let's see so 5 x into 2 yes 25 then we will okay so then we will have 3 and square root is 9 yes it is also working fine now we will have the code for 1 by x so i'm going to click on it so again i'm going to copy it pasting it here and for 1 by x i am going to create 1 by x another method so here let's do that private void 1 by x declaring an argument which is double so j text field dot set text and that will be 1 divided by a so this is the code so I need to parse it to string double dot parse sorry to string like this let's run this let's see so two yes so two is divided sorry one is divided by two 0 0.5 we are getting so friends this is it this is the final video of this series if you like this video please like and share this if you have any query please comment below and please subscribe my channel for more interesting videos. Thank you for watching. Jai Hind.